Okay, it's been a couple weeks and this bathroom is finished. Ran into uh, <clears throat> a few minor issues. I say minor because um, that's what took up so much time on this. Is probably a good 12 days of working time rather than the 8 to 10 days I usually give to the bathroom. Mainly because this floor was not even. It literally started out pretty nice up here. It got very, very thick with thin set, you know, back in the middle area, and then I was able to taper it down toward the end. The problem with this type of tile is a 12 by 24 rectified tile, which means that all these tile edges have to match up perfectly. When you stagger them, it's even more profound. So following the tile is paramount, which is very difficult to do without a buildup. I never follow my floor anyway, but following the tile uh, became a little problematic. I actually worked a couple days um, on this as opposed to the shower, which, you know, just took about a day to set that tile. Anyway, so I had the wood transition strip on the front, wood transition strip on the back where the closet's at. And I have, this tile is everywhere, literally, in, in the shower as well. Um, these sink areas um, are not quite done. The cabinets and the countertops still need to go in, but I did plumb everything in. It had to rise up. Most sinks are about stomach level nowadays, so I had to cut out on both of these left and right and extend it upward um, about nine or so inches upward. And then I had to extend the supply lines also because it's a freestanding vanity that will go here. These supply lines have to be extra long and it's a 30 inch, I believe, and a 20 inch that I connected together and eventually they'll go up under where the sink is at. So that was a small issue, but um, took care of that. The baseboard is what this slat board is. This is what the customer actually put in, and it looks pretty nice. So that will be the finished product of what she is doing. She will continue this from the top so that any cuts that she has remain at the bottom and full pieces at the top, which is very smart. So those pieces go all the way down to the bottom eventually. When she puts the rest of the boards up and the vanities and the tops come in, then the sinks will go in as well, as well the baseboard that continues around there. So these same board slats that are on here are the same baseboard that I put down at the bottom all the way around, as you can tell, and including it into the toilet closet area. So um, again, the toilet's not set because she's gonna be doing some painting in here. So. The wax ring is there, ready to go. Um, didn't do anything to the tub except put a little backsplash with the same type of tile. Um, this is a little different. Um, normally I have a bull nose, even if the... Let me shut these blinds a little bright. Even if I don't have a, a bull nose that the customer has purchased, I can actually get the bull nose made or fashioned from the same tile, in which case... In which case... Um, much better. With this type of tile, I would typically take, say, a two or two and a half inch uh, piece and have those bull nose so that I can set them on top of the full pieces and, uh, you know, put them on the face of the tub and all that stuff. In this case, the uh, customer didn't want the bull nose. She wanted the transition strip. And so that's what I put on there. Um, the bull nose actually got put into the tile. So this is a compound bull nose, it's bull nose on the, both the left and the top, and then the full piece of tile has a bull nose around it um, all the way around. So that was pretty ingenious, I like that. Um, it's not necessarily easier, I would still rather have the strips that I can manipulate up and down rather than have one piece of tile, but um, it is a good idea. So the only thing I did to the tub really, uh, I had to push the tub over to the left a little bit in order for there to be clearance for this knee wall that I built. Um, so I had to cut off um, the pipes in here, move them about an uh, inch and a half, two inches or so, and then I built a deck. Um, she wanted something that she could sit on, put stuff on, which she didn't have before. So I built that out actually to the edge of this wall to make it in line. And that's really all I did to the tub. Uh, she has also the trim kit that came um, with the valve. I, I don't remember what valve it is, but she found out what the valve was and was able to order online um, a trim kit. In other words, she had the gold cheesy one before and now she has this one. So she's going to put that in eventually when she uh, does her cleanup. And here's a shower. Um, 
pretty large shower as far as showers go. Um, this is a five by five shower and I don't get to do these large showers very often. Maybe half a dozen times have I been able to do a large shower. If you recall, this whole wall did not exist. So I've actually bumped out from here, made this wall happen and put a knee wall to line up with this wall that I put in here which got a bunch more room. I think we ended up, this is where we started at, and then there was a little angle for this shower. So it was still a good sized shower, but it wasn't nearly not as big as it is now. I probably added another four or five square feet. Um, I'm sorry, four or five square feet, probably about two or three square feet extra. So it took the tile all the way up to, to the ceiling, which I normally do. Um, the niche, okay. So this is actually not a niche for shampoo and stuff. A uh, customer wanted something they could put some candles in. So they requested something small like that. I do normally frame out, but as you already know about this bullnose, there was no pieces to frame out and they liked the, you know, the ending look like that anyway. So the larger niche got put in here behind the knee wall. That's where the shampoo bottles will go and that's a little taller. That's 12 inches um, from bottom to top. So this looks like rock tile, but it's really not. Um, if you look at it closely, this is just porcelain tile, the same family. In fact, it's the same tile. These pieces are the same exact tile as this. And then they added in some different color pieces, different size pieces to make it look like rock. Um, it's actually on a mesh. And it wasn't really easy to put down. Um, a lot of intricacies with a uh, smaller tile like this is on a mesh but uh, managed to do it. It looks okay. It kind of looks like rock, you know, managed to slope everything down to where the drain is at and put in a new shower fixture. Actually, the shower fixture itself didn't move to where it's at, but I did cut out the old one, put a new one in, um, and then the head was up over there. But in this case, I put the head, uh, per the customer's instructions, off to the right there so that they could put this configuration, which is a uh, a wand and a shower head itself so that everything, all the water kind of comes this way. May not need any glass on this wall, may not need a door because it's such a large shower and the spray over will come into this corner rather than uh, get outside. But if they wanted to put a door in retroactively, they could. They could also put just a panel of glass, which is the only thing I'd probably do. Panel of glass right here, about a three foot and uh, forget the door altogether. And that's it. So, as I said, this has uh, been kind of different. Oh, let me show you some of this bullnose piece. So the bullnose pieces, you see how it's bullnosed here, bullnosed on the top. This is one big giant tile at first. I had to cut it down because the larger tile started at the bottom and all my cut pieces were at the top. So this is pretty cool. Um, the compound bullnose, you know, I kind of like. Although, I still rather have the strips. Oh, speaking of strips, so we have another transition strip from top to bottom on this wall going down to the curb and another transition strip here. In fact, this wall didn't exist either. I had to put that there because when I moved the tub over to the left, it created a gap that was probably, I don't know, about two inches or so. So I had to make a fake wall that was two inches out in order for all the stuff on the tub to fit symmetrically. Um, but that's it. This is um, this has been a challenge. This job here, and you know, I'm on my way out. This is my last day, and I think they're very happy with it. So I am on to another job.